Kite, let me give you a small taste. Uh, Dave Sprite is a ghost of something that never happened, combined with a dead boy and a broken crow. You're you're just gonna make him inquisitive and or confused. You really don't want to do that. Pick Galaga. I'm always confused, so yeah, I always just help pick Galaga. So Galaga, she was really stressed out. Oh, oh shit! Help her out. Help Galaga. Out. 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 I'm okay with whatever, Galaga, boy, girl, whatever. Let's bring it on. It's, you know, 2014. Give it to me. Absolutely. I don't know I don't know what gender Rex is. I don't know what gender Galaga ship is. And furthermore, I don't give a single fuck. I'm all, all for I this beautiful Gal- relationship that they have together. I'm I'm enthralled. All I know is Galaga ship help Rex stop looking at his or her trousers. And for that, we're going to help him out. <laughs> Maybe Galaga can make him stop looking at uh, trousers. It, it, it'd work out well for everyone. The um, time will tell. <laughs> I uh. Oh man, I actually, I actually think I pretty much butchered Dave Sprite's uh, biography. I don't think I was nearly complicated. <laughs> No, I still have a head that's in one piece, so I do, uh, you know, thank you for that. Okay, uh, J- uh, Joan, might be, Joan might be able to confirm this, but I think I think Orange Dave Sprite was a future possibility that had to shut down because they did something wrong, but he was spared because he wasn't actually in the world that existed at that, uh, that moment because he was checking in on a friend who had recently died, but it was okay because only one of their dream versions died. And yeah, I the... think he was a one of the the Alpha Dave uh, timeline Doom sprites. And yeah. um, what I the fuck is wrong with Homestuck? You <laughs> 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 total honesty. It's super effective. <laughs> I'm just like. Wait, you guys need to read this. You need to read this. We'll talk about Homestuck in a minute. Just, just, just see this wonderful scene <laughs> that is playing out in front of us. I saw the lonely spaceship lost in a crowd of admirers. That's no way to go through your life, Galaga ship. <laughs> Some people need to find their own spaceships. Spaceships too, I guess. And that's okay. <laughs> Goddamn right, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Rex is a, a is an exceptionally understanding jelly bean intergendered teenager. And you know maybe that's maybe that's a uh, sex in this game, jelly bean. You know, I'm okay with that. I've made peace with it. Yeah, I'm down. Uh, I've done worse things with jelly beans. It's whatever. We do announce that on the internet, Travis. You're a wonderful young spaceship, and I mean, um, I'm open to something more. <laughs> but I'd be honored to be a part of your life. Wait, what? Whoa, what? whoa. Galaga's <laughs> parents? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Okay, someone's gonna need to get a chart and a bottle of liquor. <laughs> Well, when a man and a woman love each other very much and can yeah, transform into Voltron. Box of Legos. <laughs> Everyone who didn't birth a spaceship, shut the hell up. I'm going to need all of the slimy details. <laughs> Somehow Something. you give birth to a spaceship and it's just, it's beautiful. It really is. I mean, if you've never seen a ba- spaceship birth, you really should. As for you, Shorty. <laughs> Mrs. Gallagher ship and I have work in the morning. <laughs> Our spaceship has school in the morning. Every sentence here is amazing, and I love it. <laughs> okay, seriously. What did they do to whom's genital to make Gallagher ship? Have you ever gone way too weird with a Lego construction set? Just way too weird. Yeah, kite, kite, kite. Mm. Shush, shush. 
Cheshire Adorable Trap because I don't think you have birthed or seeded Spaceship One. <laughs> okay, I think you guys all need to stop. It's the greatest thing ever is going to happen in about a second. So just, 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 let's just keep going. Thunder, rain, torrential. Stay with me. <laughs> okay. The scenery is all very talkative in this area. <laughs> Okay, all right. Um, I hope those parents understand they still owe me an explanation. <laughs> Josh, Josh, you okay, buddy? You gonna make it through this? Josh, Josh, put I'm shoes dying. on, honey. We're grandmas. <laughs> it's okay. We still love you. <sighs> it's all the rain. Josh. Josh, there is nothing left to do but walk home in the rain and be super sad about everything. <laughs> everything. Completely everything. I am pretty sure that's a lyrics from a Smith song. <laughs> Did someone just explode with laughter? <laughs> oh my god. My beard just went uh, up the wrong path at this point, so... <laughs> Happy birthday, Kai. <laughs> I, I I now know what uh, I now know what uh, Yingling feels like when it goes out your nose. <laughs> Is it tingly, or does it feel like the sadness of everything? It it, it uh, tingles in ways I didn't know should ever tingle, and I hope never tingle again. <laughs> oh, wait a second. What? What? What's going on here? Is Pac-Man a spiritual guide? I think so. Uh, uh, TV dinner, you're seeing this too, right? This, um... I think he may have wandered off. I think we've officially lost TV dinner. No, no, no. I'm just boycotting this game till someone explains how two frigid English people <laughs> Chat, I mean, you have to you have something what? for us. They were true to themselves. They're what? They were true to themselves. No, 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 no. No vague answers. Someone's going to have to include a womb and titanium and like vacuum sealing and laser beams and like secret orifices that you get spaceships out of. Hey TV dinner, be true to yourself. That's all you can do. No, no amount of being true to myself gets me a spaceship. If it did, I'd be the raddest 11 year old in space. What did we just watch? Pac-Man and, uh, and Galaga and people fucked and made Spaceship. You're playing Barely. a game called Namco High and you're really questioning the logic behind yes. it? You're, you're, yes! Yes! You're a cousin. Yes. That is an affirmative. <laughs> um, I... Okay. Uh, now we're back at staring. Oh, God. <laughs> With dramatic yeah. music, too. Damn it! <laughs> Why are they always together like he's blurring out something that shouldn't be happening? I, you know what? Because nobody they're, else can talk to Keith. They're relate. What? Oh. Uh oh. He, he's news. moved above the status bar. What? Wait. Like evil, evil, Namco Namco high. High. evil Namco High. Evil Namco High. Evil Namco High. Hello, new band name. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, Big Dub! I'm down with everything this game is doing right now. Whoa! 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 Holy crap! Eyes aren't supposed to do that last I checked. I don't know if Rex is a dude related, but I do know that Rex is a badass. 
<laughs> and and then look at this and go straight to this. Oh, oh, oh. Rex. It's gonna be okay, buddy. Let's get you a chocolate milk and talk about feelings. Wait, so what's this? So we oh, have okay. like a lock system and we get our what? That combination <laughs> is king. <laughs> That is the best combination. So obviously, oh. you know who to pick. Uh, Galaga? Richard Miller? Galaga. Galaga. But, but Richard Miller has experience, but Galaga's a spaceship. With laser beams and shit. Okay. Everyone shut up. Galaga's saying something cool. Yeah. Galaga ship. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I'm glad you can all be here with me to see this absurd bullshit that we're all witnessing right now. <laughs> that I can bring you along with me. Brings a tear to my eye. Just, just, just one. Well, I mean, are we gonna enter this battle sequence or not? Whoa! whoa, uh, whoa purple power up castle. That uh, is third day. That is third day at least. <laughs> yeah, they're really, they're really jumping the gun there. Yeah. Um. I, I hardly know you, Mister Miss Scout. I, I don't even know. Galaga ship. ship. Galaga ship. ship. Galaga ship. I don't know you, and I don't know if I'm willing to grab the purple power up capsule yet. Um, could, would you like to join me for uh, spaghetti after the show, and um, you know, then we could get to know each other, have you know, delightful conversation. Uh, I'd like to meet your parents on better terms first. I'm just saying. And ask them how you exist. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody else notice the podium in the back where it just says "Cool, learn." Yeah. Yes. I'm stuck they, again. Literally, literally, if they had made Galaga's parent, Galaga ship's parents, a Galaga ship with a pipe and a mustache, and a Galaga ship with a blonde wig, I would be satisfied and happy. <laughs> nope. Um. Nope. Now, I don't know how I can go did. on. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, Galaxy Ship. We just don't we don't go just eating purple power capsules. Uh, uh Okay, let's um I mean, whoa. how was your day, Galaga Ship? I mean <laughs> oh, 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 whoa. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> madam, sir or madam Uh Guys the may concern. <laughs> I, I've got to write a disturbing letter to these the the creators, and, uh, and I, Do I don't else, know how to feel anymore. Anyone else knows Galaga ship has four exclamation points, one on each cannon? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm just now noticing yeah. that. It's pretty neat. I think we lost Joe. No, no, I'm still here. I, I, I've she... played this a lot of times, so it's hard for me to uh... to be surprised and shocked to... like we are. Yeah. Yeah. They're always edible. Even when they Even aren't. when they're not. Uh, TV Dinner, I do believe that's our new quote for the rest of our life. They're always <laughs> edible. Even when they aren't. Uh, yep, yep. I follow that rule pretty hard and fast. <laughs> mm. the firepower. Mm. Mm. Uh! You know, you know uh! it's a big deal. Font size is increased. Uh, uh. Hey, Travis, uh, did you yeah. want to hop in my power seat? <laughs> I don't even know if I know you well enough yet to hop in your power seat, and I've known you for years. I think I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go. I need to really talk to my minister after this. Um. This brings up a lot of weird and confusing issues with me and my uh, sexuality that I hadn't thought of before. I'm going to click to continue. I I wish you wouldn't. 
Whoa, 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 that was triple firepower. Uh, uh, uh. Fight together, man. Yeah, yeah, For no everlasting one peace. No one is going to have a better plan. I, I guess I'm going to eat the power capsule. That's, um... And hop in Galaga's pilot seat. I think, they're, I think they're too young to be going into battle together. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me old fashioned. Back, back in my day, you know, you married first before you hopped in somebody's power seat. What? Um, then go high. So they're all like <laughs> robot versions of the. Okay. What was that? That wasn't the Galaga ship. That's just an upside down Decepticon symbol. Wait, hold on. Was that fight one frame long? Apparently, that was the entire fight. Um, I'm going to finish my beer now. Um, you guys have a conversation. I apparently haven't had enough beer to digest this fucking game. I'm I'm leaving. I'm I am I am good leaving. Get the hell back here. <laughs> I don't you're want not allowed to <laughs> You're not allowed to leave. Come on, we're almost done. Be a if man. you leave, you will never get your answers. I He'll never, never get his get answers. answers. I want. <laughs> That's beside the point. If you leave you won't anyway. Either. This thing doesn't have a flow chart ending with a tiny spaceship and a uterus. <laughs> I am not going to be the answers I want. <laughs> wait, wait, was that? Is that it? That be that be it? Yep. Uh Andrew Hussey, I, uh, this is an open letter to you, um, I want to have a conversation with you about the direction and the, the, where you went with this. Um, things I didn't really expect, and, uh, things I'm not sure I'm comfortable with, some things I kind of want to explore and understand about myself came up from this, and, um, uh, I'm never going to look at NASA the same way again. I, I have you to thank for that, and you to scorn for that. Um. I left. Fuck this game. Yeah. Who the hell is Date Nido? Uh, their production company, I'm guessing. Well, I don't care. <laughs> So I'm guessing there may be a uh, Namco High 2 in the works. I'm guessing. Are you sure there's From not a what Namco I understand, High 1 in the probably works? not. I am not, I am not convinced yeah, okay. that it's going to happen. A lot of people um, were very, very disappointed when this came out because they were expecting a full game. And yeah. instead they, they got this. Bro. Oh. Yes, I, I, I feel I understand their viewpoint. I yeah. feel I am amongst them. So they expected like a couple hours worth of like real gameplay, and instead ended up with pretty much. And the thing is, like now that you've you've beaten this path, you've pretty much seen the entire game. Um, if you play through with the other characters. You'll get different scenarios based on whatever club they're in. For example, um, Therese's in the criminal justice club, so something specific to that. Um, uh, Anti Bravo Man's in the poetry club, so it's a poetry club scene. But it's pretty much the same thing, including, you know, the, the last boss fight going to Evil Namco High. Like, nothing changes. So that's why I can't, in good faith, recommend that people pay $15 or more for this, because it's, it's the same shit. So what was the reception of this game? Do people actually... Is this an epilogue? I've, I've... Apparently. Yes. Rex, I am disappointed. Aww. Aww, it's... Okay, that's, that's, kind of, 
That's kind of sweet. Now, how does it work? <laughs> it's plug and play. Oh. Oh. oh! Gosh, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask all you want. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh. So, so guys, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, that was uh, Namco High, apparently. Yeah. You heard yourself. I don't know what we just watched together either. Can I? May I ask? Uh, uh, Joe, you played you played through a few of the other um, the other threads, I guess, the other storylines. Yes, yes, I have. Um, are the parents always the same? Um, I think this is one of the few, if not the only one, that you actually see the parents. Um, the rest of them are based on just the characters themselves, like Pac Man's in each one, and you know, Dick Doug and King are in each one. But I, I don't believe, and you know, I could be wrong. Um, that the parents are in any other ones. I haven't played the one, the paid ones, though, so I can't be sure. Well, that's... I can't say that's a shame now, having... having experienced Namco High firsthand. Right. Um... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had more interaction when it was raining, and I passed by a GameStop, and I looked in, and someone was playing Pat Brad with a rapper. <laughs> And I kind of caught like three or four bars of the song, and then continued walking. Um, right. Yeah. I think I played. I think I, I experienced that game more on a game level. Right, and that's the thing because um, I I'm I'm on Tumblr. I follow most of the fandom shit on Tumblr. Um, there was one of two responses. The one, the first response, are mostly from the Homestuck fans. They were like, "Oh my god, I can romance Dave Sprite, blah blah blah," and they were really excited about it. And then the other response tend to be, "I can't believe um, this game came out like this. This is kind of a ripoff. Um, kind of, um, you know, why would anybody pay five hundred dollars for this?" So yeah, that is a bit much. And like the fifteen dollar price, I could almost see for it if you, uh, you know, especially the writing isn't that bad for it. It's kind of. Uh, 80s oh, the, cheese. The writing's pretty cute. Yeah, like but it's 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 cute, and if you if you play through some of the other pads, like it's really really it's kind of like got that that neat sarcastic, you know, fun feel to it. And if you followed any of of Hussey's comics, it's kind of along that same way. So the writing's really good. The writing's very tight. But um, it's like like I said, and like I keep saying, I can't justify spending money on it unless there's a character you really really want in romance, like Richard Miller or somebody. Um, otherwise. You know, that's that's pretty much it. You pretty much got the whole experience. Well, I I, I I'm sadder now than I was an hour and a half ago. <laughs> um, that's what happens I when you read anything created by Andrew. Hussey. Huh? That's what happens when you read anything you know created or headed by Andrew Hussey. Damn you, <laughs> you feel a little bit confused and ultimately uh, a bit sadder for the experience, but yeah, you but kind of wiser. yeah, a little bit wiser, you know, a little bit more about yourself. I've learned certain things. I've learned things I can't unlearn. I don't. I I have so many questions, um, most of which involve spaceships and genitals. Um. I'm going to say all of them involve spaceships and generals, actually. <laughs> um, because, um, the, I, words, I don't have them. I, have, I got none of them left. This is, this is, this is Yeah, walking sad and alone through, through the rain was not to something I expected. Yeah, to meet Pac-Man. Which is something I wish would happen in my real life. Um, it's been oh, a dream God. of mine for years. What if it happened and it was Atari Pac-Man? Oh. Oh. With his lisp? And it, yeah, oh, God, his lip. oh God, his lip. Oh God, the lip. I know that this this we don't have like a scare cam or whatever camera, but the face I'm making right now. Uh. I, Namco. Nam Namco High. Nam Namco High. <laughs> okay, what if you met Atari Pac-Man and he was just nibbling on lines? These lives are uh, disgusting, but I can't stop eating. <laughs> I 
Stop I reading. Am... Somebody help me, please. Oh god, are we doing the, we doing I, the credits again? Yeah, I clicked credits again because 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 I need to know who to who to blame. I need to find oh, these people and blame much, them all. Yeah, just, just in general. Fun fact. Uh, Brian Clevenger, he is one of the gentlemen. He, well, he's the gentleman who did uh, 8 Bit Theater, Nuclear Power. Oh! So he is. Yeah. He is involved oh. in this. He's one of the writers. Hold on. Multiple people wrote this? Yes. There was a head writer and then two additional writers on top of Hussey's uh, creative uh, input. So people were paid for this. I, I, I don't know if they were paid, is the thing. I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming there was some compensation because it's a Namco game and Namco is a relatively profitable company. Yeah. Um, Not a it, Namco hot And I have to say, like, I like most of the shifty look stuff I've seen. Um, the uh, Wonder Momo, uh, and I especially like what um, the uh, Tower of Babel that uh, the Salmon Fuzzy guy put out recently has been good stuff so far, but. What? I feel like... Uh, okay. Alright. Well, that's getting tattooed on me. Um, <laughs> that is going onto my flesh. <laughs> Just a picture of Pac-Man and the words, be true to yourself. So, so, so guys, final words on Namco High? I don't feel like this counts as an episode. I keep feeling like you're gonna be like, no, nah, I'm just Josh, and we're gonna play Guardian Legends in River City Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a little late for that, uh, unfortunately. It's it's a cute time sink, but not worth the money unless you really enjoy a Paul or Namco. Josh, any thoughts? Any 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 anything in your heart that you want to bring out to the internet right now? Really, really, right now, right now, at the end of this, after we've had our hearts broken and and patched back together by apparently purple power pills. No, no, I'm good. <laughs> Dear internet, I'm sorry. I owe an apology to you because um, this is going to be forever emblazoned on the history of YouTube. And oh, maybe only a couple of you will ever see this. But for those of you who see this, I'm forever sorry. I have no way to undo what has been done here tonight. Uh, but I can only blame Andrew Hussey. Exactly. Blame him forever. And hate him for what he has done to me, to you... To all you of know, us. Uh, we could See, not now you're in the right it. mindset to read Homestuck. <laughs> <laughs> we could, we could not, we could not post this, but then, then we all have to be sad together, um, rather than spreading the sadness like a disease. <laughs> so we we can find comfort in each other's arms <laughs> and spaceships, but, and pilot seat. Pilot seat, yes. Pilot seat. I'm not gonna lie, uh, none of y'all are welcome in my pilot seat. <laughs> I'm okay with that. That's fine, that's fine. I've, I've seen most things on you, Hollis. <laughs> that's... Hey, I have a very, I have a very well-maintained pilot seat, thank you. Does that have a folder? Um, it depends on how drunk I am. <laughs> Gentlemen, contain your urges to climb into my pilot seat. <laughs> 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 God damn it, that has to be the quote on the back of your rookie card. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda wanna I pull up the horrifying I'm dying. Dying. Um I kinda wanna pull up the horrifying thing I saw on the internet earlier just to try and feel something again. But is that really what you want to feel? I don't know anymore, Josh. I don't know anymore. Apparently, you should, you should go outside and just be sad about everything. It is currently raining. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's very cold rain too. You'll you'll feel especially dejected. Maybe maybe I'll run into Pac-Man. <laughs> you know what he's gonna say. You know what he's gonna say. 
climb into my pilot seat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his slip. <laughs> oh, no. No. So, <laughs> the mouthful of marbles, he chewed himself. <laughs> Dear Internet, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, you know, follow CVGP Games on Twitter. Follow us on uh, the YouTubes. Um, thank you for joining us for whatever the fuck we just did. Um, next week we'll be back with uh, Final Fantasy of all things. Well, hold on, hold on. Were we gonna play like? Were we gonna play like underrated NES games at some point? You guys haven't given me suggestions for underrated NES games. Okay, not we'll Final look, Fantasy. Look there we go. There's a suggestion. How about Namco High? <laughs> We've done oh, this already. How about dating sim? I don't. I, do I need to Google dating sims and find out what they are? No. You should. No, you don't. <laughs> Shut right, Josh, up. Josh, tiebreaker. Flip the coin. Flip the coin. Damn it, Josh! Your tiebreaker can't be another tiebreaker. <laughs> <laughs> you are falling down on your duties. Listen, what you should do is um, you should find the uh, dating sim X-Cross. Um, it's a PC game. It's really wonderful. It'll teach you a lot about... Jesus uh... Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I typed that into Google. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you listen to it? Why would you listen? <laughs> TV dinner, you know better. I can I... now measure my life by the times I trusted Kite and the times <laughs> I didn't trust Kite. That is a... That is a clear delineation in my life. Holy shit. So from all of us here, from the What Away Fighting For, um, have, have, a, have a good evening and we continue to be very sorry. Very, very sorry. Join us next week for River City Ransom with the Guardian Light. <laughs> oh. See, now you can't say I did not give you suggestions. One of these. The fucking sister princess. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need to end the recording.